I'm back with one more video on Mod Mob Map. This time, however, though, we're using a Samsung S4. We're also going to use a HackRF to use another tool called Mod Mob Jam. Uh, the map portion will do the cellular survey. It'll produce a JSON file with the relevant information of the survey right around the phone. And then the Jam application essentially uses um, Genie Radio Companion, a, ser uh, uh, a server per se, and uh, all the information talks and essentially jams the information, uh, the frequencies and the cell IDs that you've found around you. I, I thought about this. I'm not trying to encourage the use of this. I'm just showing how the software fine, uh, the fine radios can be uh, used in conjunction um, with a survey done on a cellular phone and then tie in the HackRF. Uh, it just was an interesting uh, proof of concept. Uh, I'm not going to jam anything for real. I actually have the HackRF uh, and the antenna inside a Faraday bag. Um, actually, the antenna is not even attached. It's got a terminator on the end. But we'll just show you how how this can uh, all be used together. And I'll put the links there. But we're going to start out with Mod Mom Map. Just like in the previous videos, I have already installed the Android SDK. Just to show you, it's uh, it's already installed. You would just uh, pull down the source for Mod Mob Map. Change directory user source. I've already got it pulled down. You would also pull down my mob jam. Same thing. Okay, we've got both everything pulled down. We need to get this running. The Samsung Galaxy 4 is already rooted. It has developer options on. Uh, you at least need to run the Mod Mob Jam one time uh, to get it to start up and then interact with the phone, at which point you would allow the SDK uh, an ADB co uh, connection on the phone. Uh, you basically authorize the computer. Uh, that's all done on the phone. So after you've ran it one time, we can pull up uh, the Mod Mob map directory and we will run the tool specifying the location of the Android SDK, which in the case of Dragon OS 10 or LTS, you're looking at the user lib Android SDK folder. We'll specify the device the, the phone comes up as, which in my case is under the dev uh, TDY ACM the C row. And I'm going to do one additional thing different this time. Uh, because the S4 is, or this particular one, is only WCDMA and GSMA, I've already ran the survey, or I'm sorry, service mode, which is the star pound 0011 pound brings up, and uh, I've checked out the two. Uh, services that it's been able to connect to. And I have the two PLM codes here uh, being, let's see, 310, 410, and you, you separate this with a comma here, and the other one being 310, 260. So you run this tool. It'll interact with the phone. It's going to do uh, a survey. It's going to find operators uh, in the area, and then it will save a JSON file. Once you have that JSON file, then you will use that with the Mod Mob Jam Genie Radio Companion to actually uh, do the smart jamming part of this. So let's go ahead and see here. So as you can see, we've got a JSON file here now.
So if we change directory to our mod mob jam, let's have a look. We change to our GRC file. And let me see. Um, so we run Genie Radio Companion Jammer GRC. That's going to open up Genie Radio Companion. And I'll blow it up big here so you can, you can see. Fairly simple. It's creating a new uh, noise source on the Osmocon sync. And it's got some options here of running this uh, localhost XML RPC. Uh, I'll split, uh, divvy this up here so we've got, we've got this over here. We'll go ahead and run this. So that's going to start up. I'll open another window. We'll check out our Hack RF. Uh, let's see here. Actually, it's uh, in use by uh, the uh, Genia Radio Companion. So let's change directory user source. One mod jam. Okay, now let's take a look. What we want to do here is Okay, so with the HackRF, we could have ran directly the jammer.gnpy. I went ahead and ran the Genie Radio Comportion. Now for the automatic smart jamming, we need to run this part right here. So we'll do We need to specify where the cells file was at, which was here. So we'll go ahead and initiate. So you can see here, now it's focused on uh, a central freak, uh, the bandwidth, everything is automated. There you go. That's how you use everything together. Do not suggest uh, attempting this for real for obvious reasons. Uh, but this, again, is just a proof of concept. You've got the Genia Radio Companion. We've got the Samsung uh, Galaxy S4 and the HackRF, everything uh, working together. And that's probably the last video I'll do using the, the phones unless I've come up with something else. But I thought this was pretty interesting. So.